appreciating it is of course I am JRJ and of course this is Hustle Television and of course you see the man right to my left none other than the man from the new boys himself teach you how to jerk nah, I'm not gonna tell you I'm not even gonna teach you how to jerk legacy the man who just put out the mixtape Dolo and as you see him by himself he is running solo leg let everybody know what's going on in Hustle Television brother well, it's good I'm with the homie right here shout out to today. Hustle Television man we over here at um Universal Studios shout out Incredible, Nick brought everybody out, all his artists, his whole team. Beautiful and, thing. Um, I just, uh, I went on stage with the homies of Wonder Bros. They signed an Incredible too, and um, we did our song. We got a song together. It's called Call That. So I came out. Make sure you go and check my part on that. So. And make sure you do the support. Everybody knows you from the New Boys, man. But tell everybody about the new solo as I introduced it. Call Dolo, the new venture, the new mixtape, the yeah. new album, the new whatever you want to call it. Yeah, man. The new project. <laughs> Mixtape's called Dolo, and um, I produce half of it myself, and um, I'm just working, man. I'm shooting some videos off of it, maybe dropping another one pretty soon, and sure. I'm just working. As always, you know the new boys, you know them from doing everything. Talked about being with Nick Cannon, Big Leg. Talk about having Nick behind you, someone that with a big name, someone that's it doesn't get much bigger than Nick, man. And when he when Nick can come behind you and say, you know what, legacy, new boys, Ben, I gotta put my name behind you, man. Let everybody know what that means to you as an artist. Personally, it's, it's, it's really dope, man, because we saw Nick. Like, I used to watch him on TV when I was like 10 years old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's pretty, it's just random. Like, we be in the studio and I really be thinking, like, damn, like, my life really, like, I'm really here right now. And this dude's here, like, giving me advice. Like, this is cool. So it's a blessing, man. It's definitely a blessing. Nick's cool people. He real humble, too, man. So shout out to Nick, man. He's real. Definitely, man. Now, now, talking about looking up to people, now people are looking up to you. Now you have youngsters who walk around and want to do the dances like you and want to have the songs like you and want to be where you are, man. Tell the does that kind of resonate with you at the moment or are you still kind of in shock or have you been doing this long enough to know you know what I am someone that's in the public figure I just like being myself but also at the same time being a positive role model for people under me. Right um I think sometimes like when we were traveling it took a minute for it to sink in like everything sure. that was just going on around us like people was like yo you guys are huge you know what I'm saying you got this and that and that. And I'm like, I'm still trying to get on, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it was, we were just taking it one day at a time, so it didn't really sink in like that. And it kind of still hasn't, you know? That's what I'm saying, I'm still working, you know? So, Of course, we would. But it's it's a blessing, I realize what I have, man. And it's, it's awesome. With well, legacy, one half of the new boys. Man, where's Ben at? Is he not out today? Is he doing his thing? Is he? Been working too. <laughs> Been working too. He in the studio probably, probably right now. Probably right now. Yeah. He got a mixtape coming out. It's called TD4W. I think it turned down for what? So, yeah. Now, when you when you branch off and do your solo thing with Dolo, was it a little different or is it something that you're just completely used to? Is it something, you know what? It's different. I'm an artist, I'm an artist, I will go into the studio and do my own. Yeah, it's different because I'm used to having been in the studio and we record our stuff together, but at the same time, before we was doing the New Boy stuff, like I bought a little, I bought my studio equipment and everything when I was like 13 years old and I had it wow. set up in my mama house and I was learning how to mix and engineer and I was just like freestyling on my songs and stuff. So I'm kind of used to it, sure. but it was cool. Like it was a cool experience because this is my first time really, well not my first time, I produced like 
few of the songs in a new boys album, the first one. But this is my first time really like taking on most of the production myself and a hundred percent of the engineering. So it was cool because I learned a lot of stuff. I learned how to play keys and stuff. Like I know C minor and like fucking like I know how to do all that shit. So it's cool, man. I love learning new things. So. Becoming a, a real musician. Yeah. And exactly. not just an artist. You, right, right. You, you're doing a little bit of everything. Yeah, I want to learn it all, man. I want to be the Ooh, greatest at everything. You. And that I'm glad you said that, man, because new boys already have fame. Yeah. The new boys are already hot. Yeah. You can go just about anywhere and everybody's gonna recognize you at this point. You know, we see the we see the young fly flashy. <laughs> we see it right here in front, but you talked about, you know, it kind of has a sunk in, it's, it's a little bit of shock. That first initial time, when the big the big song came out, yeah. and everybody was doing it, I mean, you had the whole world, the yeah. whole country doing it. <laughs> did, did you really sit back and just say, damn, you know what, I can't believe I'm really at this point. All the things you had been working for, it, yeah. don't get me wrong, things came to you a little younger than a lot of other people, right. but that just shows how, how, how blessed you are, and how talented you are. Right. But definitely. did it really hit you and say, God, you know what, I'm really doing things at the moment? To be honest, man, it didn't even hit me. Like, because when I was not not even on no like cocky shit, but when I was like ever since I was like eight years old, I was like, I'm gonna be a rapper. Before I graduate high school, I'm gonna get a record deal. Right. And I always said that, like I kept telling myself that. So it was like I knew and for a fact. Entrenched in your brain. Man. Yeah, exactly. Entrenched in your mind. I knew for like I brought it out into the world, so I knew it was coming back. And in high school, our senior year, we got the record deal and we started traveling and stuff. But like I said, it wasn't it wasn't sinking in like that. And I was always like, all right, we got this. But I was always thinking about the next move. Like, all right, so what's next? Smart what are we gonna do to make this like more than what it is? Of course, it's a know? smart, smart move. Like, I mean, I guess I could have like celebrated a little, you know what I'm saying? Because we did get a deal. Most yeah, people don't take your deal, time to you know? celebrate a little bit. Like, and I did, I definitely did. Sure. But for the most part, I was always focused on the next move. So, still in, man. It's just the beginning. And talk about the next move. You already got the new mixtape out. Anything we got coming on, the, the new endeavors, anything you want to let everybody know out in the world, that's some television, Time Just, Warner, AT&T, where they can catch you, where you can check you, Big Ben, with you and Ben, guys. I know you guys in the lab doing something concocting something for us to see next. Yeah, we with, we with Warner right now, so we just recorded. I can't really speak on too much on what we doing like, within the next few months. <laughs> but, um, come on. Give them a taste, give them a taste. Nah. Don't tell them no names. <laughs> Just let them know that you're doing something. We working, man. That's we shooting that videos. Y'all gonna see it, bro. <laughs> That works. Legacy of the new boys. One half of the young men. Let everybody know where they can find you, where they can keep up with you, where they can see you. Um, Check you the new up on Twitter, twitter.com slash legacy, T-H-A-L-E-G-A-C-Y. Uh, Instagram, Dom Dolo. My YouTube is Legacy D's Nuts, D-E-E-Z, N-U-T-Z. <laughs> And um, yeah, you, everything's gonna be there. Mainly check out the YouTube, because I'll be posting a lot of videos, you know. I shoot all my own videos myself, so just throwing that out there. He's right a man now. of different, many different talents. Ladies, make sure you go check out these nuts. Make sure you go check out Leg, <laughs> one half of the new boys. Leg, man, let everybody know on the outro, brother, what it is, what it is to be a new boy, what it is to be a young man in the game, and we'll let everybody go on that. Man, um. First off, I give all my glory to God, all my right. thanks to God for everything. I don't take nothing for granted. And just work hard, you know what I'm saying? You gotta work hard, you gotta study your craft. It's cliche as hell, I understand that. <laughs> but but really, true. you do. Practice right. really does make perfect. And the more you work at it, the better you get. And you start seeing the progress and you start enjoying it. So just stay consistent, don't let the fucking day fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? If you gotta, you got a girlfriend or something and y'all just nuts. broke up. <laughs> y'all just broke up. Don't let her fuck your shit up, man. Keep focusing on your work. Legacy, one half of the new boys, Universal City Walk, the Incredibles, Nick Cannon doing his thing, Hustle Television, JRJ. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you go check out the Wonder Bros. Make sure you go check out the whole Incredible Camp. Again, JRJ, Hustle Television, Time Warner, AT&T. Make sure you check your local listings. We're everywhere across the nation. If you're not down with the Lord, pray. Make sure that you're down with him. If you can't find him, pray and he will find you. JRJ, Universal City Walk. Legacy. What up? It's Legacy and we on Hustle TV.